Thanks, Tommy, and thanks for tuning in to SBU TV Sports this morning. I'm Grace Foley. Well, the NCAA has made their intentions clear to provide athletes a sense of security amid the coronavirus pandemic. Athletes in both the fall and spring have been granted an extra year of eligibility. And now, winter athletes are added to that list as well. The announcement came down from the Division I Council ensuring winter athletes have the same safety net that were provided to fall and spring athletes, should the winter season be cut short. The ruling encompasses both the men's and women's swimming and diving teams at St. Bonaventure, along with the men's and women's basketball teams. While head men's basketball coach Mark Schmidt is unsure which of his players, if any, will exercise that extra year, he does understand the reasoning behind the NCAA's decision. The reason why they did it was, you know, just to make sure that this peace of mind um, from the student athletes. If I was a, a, a senior, and I knew that we were going to play, you know, whatever, 12 games. I'm thinking like, well, why do I want to waste my senior year playing 12 games? I'm going to opt out red shirt. SBU's TV Sports reached out to the athletic department to find if any of the winter athletes had already decided to take that extra year. But they said they aren't making any coaches or student athletes available for comment at this time. Despite the announcement from the NCAA, Schmidt is focused on the season ahead of him, however long it may be and his team received a major boost this offseason with Kent State transfer Anthony Roberts. SBU TV Sports' Anthony Goss talked to Roberts to find out what Bonnies fans can expect from this new talent. The Bonnies are back at practice preparing for the 2021 season. To make up for the loss of three key rotation players from last year's team, head coach Mark Schmidt brought in three freshmen and three talented transfers for the upcoming season, one of them being Kent State product Anthony Roberts. For Roberts, the decision to make the move to Bonaventure was an easy one. Schmidt. And, uh, Coach Karen recruited me out of high school. So, like, we always stayed in touch. Me not going to visit other schools, so I felt like St. Bond was, like, the fit. Coming from Kent State, Roberts had to apply for a transfer waiver to play immediately. Last week, that waiver cleared, so he's ready to impact the team on the court this year. I would probably say, like, I'm a playmaker. Like, I can make plays on the floor. I play with a lot of enthusiasm. I feed off the crowds. I see how, how the fans are here. So I definitely feed off the, off the crowd. After two years of competition in the MAC, a fellow mid-major conference, Mark Schmidt is confident Robert's game will seamlessly transfer to the A-10. We're expecting him to come in and, you know, help us right away. And that, that's, that's the challenge. And he, he, he's good enough. He showed it. Now he's got to, you know, show it in the Atlantic 10. With the season scheduled to start soon, Anthony is feeling at home here at St. Bonaventure. I feel right at, right at home. Like everybody welcomed me with open arms, treated me like I've been here. So it's definitely like been easy to just come here and just bond with the guys. Great team chemistry, a classic trait for a Mark Schmidt led team. For SBU TV Sports, I'm Anthony Goss. New, now, next. Matt Ryan with a clean pocket is going for the end zone. And it's Over on the gridiron, more bad news for NFL fans. With teams continuing to report positive COVID-19 cases across the league, the NFL announced the 2021 Pro Bowl will be canceled so they can focus on getting through the regular season. Fans can still vote for their favorite players beginning November 17th, and full Pro Bowl rosters will be revealed in December. Touchdown. Finishing at the collegiate level, the wait is almost over for Big Ten football action. Conference games begin tonight with a matchup between Illinois and Wisconsin at 8 o'clock. Preseason favorite Ohio State kicks off their eight-game regular season slate with Nebraska tomorrow at noon. And the conference is already occupying ABC's primetime spot, as Minnesota plays host to Michigan tomorrow night at 7.30. Of course, we end with SVU TV Sports Trivia. This week's question took some digging from our social media team. Let's take a look. During the St. Bonaventure Fordham men's basketball game in the Rose Hill Gym in 2012, there was a one and a half hour delay. What caused this delay in the game? It was a bent rim, courtesy of Rams forward Chris Gaston and Ryan Canty. Responding first with the right answer, not even 30 minutes after the question was posted. Congratulations, Joe Blumenauer from Bronxville, New York. Tough to beat that response time. Follow us on all of our social media to show off your Bonnie's trivia knowledge. SBU TV Sports Trivia returns Tuesday. That's all the time we have for sports. Back to you, Tommy and Ryan.